High-profile supporters of a controversial Nevada rancher are stampeding away from him tonight after his comments about African Americans and slavery. Cliveden Bundy became a celebrity among some conservatives this month when the federal government threatened to confiscate his cattle because his herd was grazing on federal lands and Bundy refused to pay the fees. Nancy Cordes has the new developments. I want to tell you one more thing I know about the Negro. At a gathering near his ranch northeast of Las Vegas this weekend, 67-year-old Cliven Bundy shared his views about African Americans. His comments were later posted on YouTube. They abort their, their young children. They put their young men in jail because they never, they never learned how to pick cotton. And I've often wondered, oh, are they better off as slaves picking cotton, having family life and doing things? Or are they better off under government subsidy? Two weeks ago, Bundy and his supporters, some of them armed, clashed with federal agents who tried to confiscate his cattle. The Nevada rancher owes $1.1 million in fees for grazing hundreds of cattle on federal land for the past 20 years. It's freedom and liberty and access to our land and get rid of this uh, abusive uh, government. The dispute made Bundy a hero to some conservatives. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. But now his admirers on the right are condemning him. Kentucky Senator Rand Paul called Bundy's comments offensive. Nevada Senator Dean Heller, who had praised Bundy as a patriot, called the comments appalling and racist. In a press conference this afternoon, Bundy defended his remarks. These people, they're not slaves no more. They, they seem to be slaves to, to, to the welfare system and these type of things, but they have opportunities. Senator Harry Reid of Nevada, the top Democrat in the Senate, has called Bundy and his supporters domestic terrorists. He was criticized by that for that by Nevada Republicans, but they may not be defending Bundy quite so vigorously going forward, Scott. Nancy, thanks.